Access control lists. Benefits of this and subnetting. You can use access control lists to secure networks. Access control lists enable you to control traffic into and out of your network. You can deny network hosts or addresses. You can control uh, network traffic based on TCP port being used. Access control lists uh, TCP data segment uh, Access control lists uh, enable packet filtering uh, by analyzing incoming and outgoing packets and passing or halting them based on stated criteria. These criteria are defined using access control lists. Access control list is a sequential list of permit or deny statements that apply to IP addresses or upper layer protocols. Access control list, ACL, can extract the following information from the packet header, test it against its rules, and make permit or deny decisions based on source IP address, destination IP address, TCP UDP source port, TCP UDP destination port. So something like firewall. You can use access control lists to perform packet filtering. Cisco AIGP, Internet Control Message Protocol, Internet Gateway Message Protocol, mm, SPF, based on protocol, I think. Access Control List is a sequential list of permit or deny statements. It applies to IP addresses, layer 3 header. It applies to upper layer protocols, layer 4 header, the same, like ports in TCP, UDP. It controls whether a router permits or denies packets to pass through the router, a commonly used object in the Cisco IOS. By default, router does not have any access control lists. Something like firewall. Uh, why we use uh, access control list? To limit network traffic and increase network performance to provide traffic flow control I mean where where do they go or do they are allowed or not to provide a basic level of security for network access so for example uh, nobody from access point from Wi-Fi cannot access the uh, departments um, access control lists uh, may help with deciding which types of traffic are forwarded or blocked at the router interfaces. Allows an administrator to control what areas a client can access on the network. Again, the same. It may screen certain hosts, hosts to either allow or deny access to a part of a network. It can grant or deny user permission to access only certain types of, types of files, such as FTP or HTTP. One access list per protocol. An access list may, must be defined for each protocol enabled on the interface. One access list per direction. Access list controls traffic in one direction at a time on an interface. Two separate access lists must be created to control 
inbound or outbound traffic. One access list per interface. Access list control traffic for only one interface. One access control list per protocol, per direction, per interface. Access group command is used to assign the list of uh, to interface and specify the direction the traffic to. Yeah. 